Hi guys, it is Cara Fab with Cara Fab Fashion, and today we are talking all about Paris Couture Week. First of all, just to get this out of the way, I do have a website where I would usually post about this stuff, but I decided to make a video version so you can better see all of the pictures and videos from Fashion Week. <laughs> I just loved all of the great moments from Fashion Week and I made some notes so that I can better talk about all the great moments and pieces and designers that we see. I am mostly doing moments. If you want to get really into the designers, I will have something on that soon. First, obviously, we have to talk about the Schiaparelli show, the things that were going on with Schiaparelli really made the internet. Um, first off, Doja Cat. Her look that was also covered on Vogue, if you haven't seen the video, uh, you should definitely go watch that after this. But it took 30,000 Swarovski crystals that were applied by, like, Pat McGrath. Like covered it. 30,000. Swarovski crystals on Doja Cat, which is insane. Even the video, like, they paint her red, they put the crystals on, and then the outfit, which is, of course, Caparelli. Um, I think that this was a very artistic choice, and it is a very out there and bold choice. However, I can absolutely agree with um, the memes and stuff. They were very, very funny. I saw a lot of them. Um, she was compared to a pet plethora of things but the main thing that i thought was very funny is that even though there were so many memes about how oh she looks like a tampon she looks like an infinity stone she looks like this and this and that there was also a group of people saying that this look was great but it needed eyelashes like there was another group of people that were very concerned about the lashes portion of the look which i think it's debatable I don't you know but then at the next show she went to which I forgot to write it down but I will insert pictures here she actually put lashes all over her face um which I thought was very comedic and funny and she has had some great looks throughout the week in general she is a great guest to have at a fashion show she has amazing style she has great stylists, she has a great team, and I think that they put her in things intentionally for media coverage, but also to show a more artistic side of her, even though she has a very artistic side. I think it's more about self-expression also. She's expressed, she is out there, she is bold, and that was also amazing media coverage as well. So yeah, um, speaking of the guests, we obviously have to talk about the other part of the Schiaparelli show with Kylie Jenner. She wore custom Schiaparelli. It was this black long dress. I'm pretty sure it's sleeveless. However, due to the lion head that was right here, I just like can't even think about it. Um, but the dress wasn't exactly the focal point of the look. The, the point of it was obviously the huge lion's head um right there i think it was also a really great idea to put her in there first of all because she is kylie jenner like everything she wears is going to be looked at and noticed and everything but also because she's a leo and everyone wanted to bring up oh like she's such a leo this is a leo look lion symbolizing leo and all that but she's of course sitting front row um, I'm pretty sure Doja Cat was a seat next to her. And on the runway, of course, we see Irina Shank in not the same dress, but a very similar dress. Um, the only thing that was different is that the lion's head was open on Irina's and Kylie's was closed. There is actually a video that I reposted, but I will insert the video right now so you can see her reaction to the same dress. Now, 
Now, obviously, I'm pretty sure she knew that this was happening, and even if she didn't, I don't think she had a huge opinion on it. However, this video did go viral. It is one of those moments on the runway that I think a lot of people will probably hold on to. It was very interesting, it was funny, and it was great to see and great coverage for the Scaparelli show along with the other looks being that there were three there was a lion head there was a bear and there was i think a jaguar i think that was a jaguar or snow leopard i'm not really sure about my animals <laughs> but you know those three looks got a lot of riffraff about it because of of course the animals and the fur and the lion's head and all the other animal heads that were on the pieces that each model was wearing which by the way they chose such iconic models to go on that runway show which just proves they knew they were gonna go out there they had Irina, Naomi, Sh Shalom, I mean that that's a trifecta like no other um so it was great seeing them on the runway but a lot of people did have a lot of negative things to say about this runway show a lot of concern was brought up with this show as well, which is completely reasonable. Public was like, oh my god, are they real lion heads? Are they real fur? They are not real, okay? Let me assure you. The designers made sure to let you guys know it is not real. They're completely man-made. You can also view a video on this process of it being made on the Scaparelli page, the Scaparelli um social medias so that was great it's a great reassurance nothing was made from an animal no harm was due to any animals in the process of making the designs with the show i do wish that there was more coverage on the other pieces that they put out on the show on the runway because the other pieces that scaparelli puts out just in general but especially this couture show i really enjoyed I think that they bring a lot of creativity, some new looks. They have a lot of gold and glim not glimmer. They have a lot of gold and these amazing silhouettes to each piece that I, I just love so much and I wish more people would talk about it, but it's completely fine. I do understand why these animal looks got more coverage than their others however it just all of their looks are so amazing and i my it's just my favorite of the season i i will be honest well okay they are definitely on the top three favorites right now get on to something that is not scaparelli i have my little notes so let's see what we have oh my gosh so chanel um if you have seen the video that I posted on TikTok about the Chanel show, you would know that I pretty much called them boring, basic. Some people agreed with me, others had a lot to say about it. Other people were like, it's timeless, it's classic. What I am saying is that this is couture. And I think personally, and a lot of other people actually think this, that couture is just a little more elevated than ready to wear. And I feel that Chanel put more ready to wear pieces out rather than couture pieces. You can debate me on that. I don't, I mean, that's all about opinions. And I'm very aware that I'm not the type of person to even wear Chanel. So it's completely fine. Like, you know, um, I just, really do wish that we saw more creativity and fun from Chanel instead of these constant work-like pieces. Um, you know, I think that Chanel absolutely has seen better design days and when you go into these archived looks, they are so beautiful and I just miss that from Chanel, the brand, and their designers. So on to another top show was of course the Victor and Rolf show where these looks were of course 
primarily gowns, dresses, but it was an out of body dress. So the models had these great new corsets on and the dresses were at the side, uh, over the head, um, in front, in the back, going through the body. I think that that was so amazing. It's not practical at all, of course. They had other gowns that would be more practical for red carpet use or gala looks, etc. However, these dresses were so artistic and fun and gained a lot of coverage in the fashion community due to the extravagance of it and also the meanings behind it. I thought they were really great. I was told was told by someone that the reason or what they see it is that it is a literal look into the step out of modern or traditional, I'd say femininity, which I thought was very interesting take on this. They called, let's look, they call this runway show late stage capitalism halts, waltz. Why would I say halts? Waltz. Now, I don't 100% what they know what they mean by this just because I can get that artistic view. However, sometimes when big brands do this whole like anti-capitalism thing, I, I it's like side eye. Like, I'm like, okay, you are the capitalism, but okay. That's not even saying anything bad about the designers and everything. I'm just saying like sometimes I find it very ironic when we bring these things up because it almost feels ridiculous. But yeah, but the show in general, I really, really loved. I love the gowns. I love the creativity. I like that with them. It is a step out of comfort zones and creativity and they're, these gowns were very lovely. Also, I would love to see videos on how this was thought out and structured and everything. I really love seeing behind the scenes videos of our favorite designers and makeup artists and artists in general coming together and making these things that we see. Um, so I'd love that. I know that Fendi does these videos because I watch them sometimes and I completely just adore them. Um, since we're on the topic of Fendi, actually, if you saw their show, I hate that they were so boring. <laughs> I just like, it's not that it's boring, it's just that it didn't feel like a jaw-dropping experience for me. Their New York Fashion Week show, for example, with the anniversary of the baguette bag, that was like a jaw-dropping experience. That was a great experience. When I was watching that, I felt like I was transported somewhere and my entire mind and focus was on that show whilst watching it while when I was watching this recent Fendi show I was kind of just oh, okay nice pretty pretty um but it was still a beautiful show and I love seeing the craftsman craftsmanship behind each and every one of their shows also you have to take into account that these shows are different so I can completely understand how you know, one show may give you a different experience from another show. And that's completely fine. Personally, if I was a celebrity walking the red carpet, I would probably wear Fendi. The pieces were very classic. Um, I think they had a lot of classy pieces. Very nice, very airy, angelic, cute. Oh, oh my gosh, how could I forget the Loewe show? So they did men's wear, which I am not very versed in. Um, I'm not exactly a connoisseur of men's wear. I don't really know too much about men's wear. I look through some ar archival pieces. I do um, help some of my male friends style their outfits. I give my opinions, I'll do this. But in the world of couture, I'm not exactly an expert on men's wear per se, however, just looking at it from what I know about fashion and my own point of view of what I think men wear, 
Um, I enjoyed the pieces. A lot of angel wings. They did this devilish look with the red eyes and the fur. I'm seeing a lot of fur, by the way. Um, stomach just growled very loudly because I've only ate fruit today. Um, because I'm a healthy queen, apparently. I really, I enjoyed the show too. Um, it wasn't jaw dropping, but I don't think everything needs to be jaw dropping. You just have to have some moments here and there. Um, but I did in general really enjoy their looks i think that if i saw a man wear that brand i would have to be speechless i just love i love women's fashion but i also like i just love seeing men that are into fashion and their appearance and when i see someone wear loe loewe like sorry i'm like getting tongue-tied today i just think okay that that is everything. Um, they also brought out a lot of their bags, which I'm pretty sure one of them was sold out. I can't remember which one because I apparently forgot to write it down, but I saw a lot of bags in menswear, which I think, why don't men wear bags? Why don't men wear bags? You know what? We're not getting into that debate, but I think men, if I like, like, where are you keeping your things? Sorry, my stomach keeps grumbling. I guess like men don't really carry around a lot of stuff, but still, I don't know. I just see a lot of men carry just their phone. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. It was a great show. Um, I don't have any complaints about it per se. I think that like, good show. That's it. My all-time favorite, my right die Mugler. I love Mugler. Are they number two on my list with Scaparelli being number one? Yes, but I love Mugler because they prioritize this theatrics about everything. Now, their designs in general have taken a softer approach than what Mugler originally intended and sought out with the brand. There used to be themes and other things that were a little bit more extravagant but these are all archive pieces which is understandable and I can also see how Mugler is taking a different ap approach. I would love to see them do even more drastic out their silhouettes because that is just always entertaining and very beautiful to see. However, let's talk about what was going on during the runway show. I am going to try my best to include all of the videos that you can see at the end. Zaiwi, is that how you say her name? Because I'm so afraid. I think it's Zai. I think it's Zaiwe. But I never know. So please correct me if I'm wrong. I have tried to pronounce her name multiple times before and I hate pronouncing people's names wrong because people pronounce my name wrong constantly because my real name is k-h-a-r-e-i carry but like it's a whole thing it's not hard to pronounce it's just like a weird way of spelling it so um i understand the mispronunciation of names and how it can kind of be like offensive to you culturally and everything but so yeah someone please correct me in the comments if i am wrong so i can say her name right next time thank you she called out lisa renna in the show it was so funny I loved it. Lisa Renna is always so entertaining on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and she constantly says just own it. So that's where that reference was from. I'll insert the video now. I said Lisa Renna! <laughs> Also, her runway walk, amazing. I just loved it so much. Um, we had Arca stealing JT's bag, which was, I couldn't even believe it. Oh! 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 I really hope that JT knew about the bag stealing. I saw 
um, a few videos about it. She didn't look upset, but if I know anything else, of course, I will post it on Clara Fab on Instagram and TikTok so you guys know and have more information. The bag stealing thing, iconic, of course, there was a moment. Um, each and every one of the models, not each and every one, but there was a point where the models were on these, mm, how do I explain it? It was like, it was almost like their own runway and there was a camera and they were being pulled. They looked very artistic, very naturally amazing, beautiful, um, whilst going on this runway. And then I see later on their Instagram, the reason for that was of course, to create these great runway videos from in front and behind each of the models, which is why I also really appreciate Mugler for doing these things, giving us some great visuals from the brand that's always very appreciated but yeah oh my gosh guys I forgot to talk about one of the funniest things that happened I cannot even believe this like I'm I know I was just talking about Mugler but we have to jump back to Scaparelli because when I saw the Kylie Jenner meme <laughs> with the, no, when I saw the dress with the lion and then someone posted the lion with Kylie Jenner's face on their shoulder, it was so hilarious. I could not. I reposted it. Everyone loved it. I have to talk about it because it's like, I wouldn't say it's like a huge pop culture moment or anything, but it was hilarious and I love making jokes about fashion. Um, I'm not sure who the original poster of that meme was, but I do follow the one of the accounts that posted something similar or like it um if i do find it the original i hopefully i'll be able to like show you guys it but i don't think i will be able to so i'll try to just show you um from what i have but yeah those are all the okay my stomach is really hurting i have to go eat before i go on like a walk um but yeah those are all the great moments that's what i find think about a lot of the shows I don't want to make this video too long because um I don't want to make it over 20 minutes so if I am able to make another video talking more in depth about the pieces and my opinions on the fashion scene or any other fashion weeks uh fashion months I absolutely will um, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the Clara Fab channel for more things on fashion and soon to be lifestyle. And all of our social medias will be linked down below along with Amazon storefronts for fashion, our website, and so much more. I am so glad that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like. I will see you guys later. Stay.